Right our way out of Pittsburgh. Just left, uh, just left my friend Andrew's house. Uh, it was a pretty awesome night. We uh, played our played our open mic. Had a place I want to say it was called Thirsties last night. And uh, headed out of there, and then we uh, had to find somewhere to watch the Tigers game. So we went to a uh, Quaker Steak and Lube downtown Pittsburgh, and uh, got to watch the Tigers beat the Yankees. No complaints. Uh, after that, we uh, went over to Andrew's for a while, chilled, hung out with a bunch of his roommates and friends and stuff, and. Uh, <laughs> Crashed on the couch, and now we are on our way to Cleveland, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame today. Uh, I think we're, we're playing a show at Visible Voice Books, probably around eight or so. Cabrera, choke. Perez Hatter, choke. Carmona, choke. Perez, choke. Maniac, <laughs> choke. <laughs> <laughs> All tour we've been staying in shitty hotels um, with air AC that doesn't work and stuff like that. Look now we that. have a sleep number mattress. What's up? This is actually pretty cool. You can see Progressive Field where the Cleveland Indians play right outside our window. All trip, you can read about this Occupy stuff. And the two fifty, we will be marching to the federal building. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> We're marching! Yeah! In front and center in the square, get the drums beating, let's get some signs up. We're at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. There's a giant catch of four bucks. Um, they wouldn't let us film inside or anything, so we weren't able to get any footage. It was pretty, pretty awesome. Pretty free. Yeah, it was very cool. A little, a little overwhelming, really. Definitely worth checking out if you're ever in Cleveland. We're here at Visible Voice Books. Uh, we're playing outside tonight. Beautiful, yeah. It's like, I, it's probably still at least 70 right now. This sweet little bookshop, wine bar. Uh, yeah. I'll be, I plan on spending the day drinking wine and uh, reading Charles Bukowski poems all night. All night. Yes. A lot of way home. Zach's playing the last stacker of the trip. It's crucial. How do you feel? Feeling pretty alright. We have an uh, option between book reader, Nintendo DS Lite, the new GPS. So I'm gonna see if Lux on my side today. I will save a DS. <laughs> ah! So logistically, uh, going to New York didn't make as much sense as we thought. It would have been about 20 hours on the road today. Way too much. And more money than we would have cared to have spent this far into the trip. So here we are, back in Hudsonville. Sweet. Uh, pretty much rounding off the trip here. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. It was fun. It was fun. Got to meet a lot of people, see a lot of places. So hopefully, be doing it again someday. Uh, Bye. Later. <laughs>